Hey guys, Dark Angel Gaming here, um, bringing you a let's play on an indie game called Closure. As you can see, um, this is an, uh, an indie game from Steam that I got from a friend who won it on a YouTube contest, I think. But yeah, big shout out to uh, my friend Hunter who gave me the, the code for this indie game. Um, I've never played this indie game before in my life, I know nothing about it. Um, I played a little bit of the uh, your first couple of levels, it was like one or two uh, levels, the little tutorial levels just to get uh, up to speed with things. Um, from what I can say so far, it's strange, it's a very strange game as you'll see. It's a puzzle game and I completely suck at puzzle games. But it took a few minutes to install so I thought I'd give you guys a little let's play on it. Uh, like I said, no idea <laughs> about the background of the game or anything. Um, but it's just a little indie game that I got. I wanted to do a little let's play on it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So this is uh, our let's play of Closure. So let's continue game. Right, so all of this is, you like this little, um, I can say, uh, alien, I guess, I don't know, maybe an alien, in this completely, um, dark world and you pretty much pick up these lights and you travel around with these uh, travel around with these uh, lights to uh, to get through if you go into the darkness it kills you I have no idea what to do should I go in this door or should I go should we just go for the middle door all right we'll go for the middle door okay I don't know what these numbers mean. Right. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm guessing you've got to have a key to unlock these doors. Yeah, but pretty much, it's this really cleverly made indie game, and it the, the graphics and stuff just make it look so weird, it's really well done. Um and I really like the look of it so we'll just go for number one I think it looks really strange and it's just awesome alright so I think this is like some sort of power up or something maybe we get like a cool little power up or it's teleporting us oh no I've changed into a chick awesome so I've changed into a chick Alright, so let's pick up our. Uh, but the graphics and the effects of the game are just so weird and. and, um. and, uh, kind of creepy, and it's just. awesome. I really liked it as soon as I saw it, so. I hope you guys enjoy watching me struggle very much to play this puzzle game. Alright, so let's go this way. I don't know. Jump up there. We're good. Alright, that failed epically. So maybe we have to go back here. Is this mailbox do anything? Can we do anything with this mailbox? Nope. Okay. Can we go in this house? I doubt. Oh, what am I talking about? I doubt we can go in the fucking house. Right, it says to go. It's here. It says to go this way, but how am I supposed to get up on that fucking tree? Am I supposed to drop my light or. I mean, can jump up the tree. Maybe we have to. I don't know. I, n I have no idea what to do. Let's drop my light by here. And... No, right. The, the mailbox de definitely does nothing. Let's try to drop my light by the gate and see if we can. No, no. Oh, I don't want to go down there without without my light bulb. Um. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to fucking do. I don't. Oh. Right. For all you guys watching who are like, "Oh man, this guy sucks," <laughs> is I suck really badly at puzzle games. So expect expect me to suck balls at this game. To be honest with you. Okay. There's one of those lights. Things. 
So it's definitely telling me to go this way, but I mean, once I get to this... this tree or whatever... I don't know what to do, I mean... Is this, I mean... I've got a... I don't know why, but I keep going back to this fucking mailbox. Is there a way to climb down the... Climb up the branches or something? I don't... Can I climb the tree? Can I actually... Well, there's another light. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, I grabbed something then. Oh, sweet. That was that was cool. That was cool. Alright, there's some extra, there's extra light bulbs. That means I'm going to have to use those. So let me just go down here to check what I've got to do first. Oh no, I don't. So what are those extra light bulbs for? Let's come back up the hill. Uh, well that, that mailbox is open. Let me check that. Can you... No. Can't do anything with that. Alright. I can... I can turn this light around though. Right, there's definitely... I can beam it this way. Now I can... I don't know, was I supposed to... Was there something extra up there? I don't even, I don't even know. Ah, forget it. I'll just go with my little light bulb. Or light orb, or whatever it is. I'll go down to the door. Maybe there was something extra there, but I suck so much that I'll never find it. Oh, that was close. Oh, that sucked. Alright, so... Are we supposed to... No, that failed again. Right, so I'm guessing I've got to jump down to that... Uh... Uh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, pick up my light. Pick up the fucking light. Alright, so now I'm in some bobbing water and shit. Alright. Put... No, don't leave without me. Right, there we go. So let me get my light from here. Now I should be able to walk across this bridge. That's right, bitches. Okay. So I don't know what you guys think of of this indie game. I think it's really good. I think it's like inventive and just really cleverly made and weird and just kind of awesome. Um you can pick it up on Steam. <coughs> uh, excuse me. You can pick it up on Steam for six pounds. So I think it's six ninety nine. Um which is pretty cheap. So if you like it I definitely suggest go and pick it up. And I'm getting steamed. Um but um, if you like puzzle games and kind of the weird graphics of this game, I definitely suggest going to pick it up because it's it's really fun. It's a pretty fun game from what I've played. Oh shit, shit! I thought that was gonna fall on me. Oh, what am I supposed to do now? All right, just no. That was really bad. I think that falls and shows you nothing. <laughs> Okay, that sparkles to show me nothing again. I don't know, was I supposed to pay attention to the, the, the sparkly thing? Oh, I think I'm, tr I'm supposed to try to fall in the light. Ah, oh. I'm just gonna go, go for it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, yeah boy. Alright, before I pick up the key, I should probably turn my... Yeah, boy. Alright, no, let me grab my key. <coughs> let me grab my key first. And put it... I'll put it, like, by there. Because once you put the light in these things... Let me grab my key. No, don't leave without... I forgot my key! Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, I'm going to have to reset the level. Ah, crap. Alright. Let's do this, try that again. Yeah, not right. 
So we bend our light over here. Let's grab my key. I dropped my fucking key when the, the elevator thing took off. That was annoying. Alright, grab my key. Oh, I dropped my key again! Oh, God. That was gay. I keep pressing the wrong button. <coughs> and I keep coughing all the time. Every time I do videos, I never cough. And then, when I do a video, coughing all the time. Alright, so... Let's not drop my trick key for the third goddamn time. No! Oh my god, I fell off the lift. <laughs> <sighs> I completely suck at these type of games, I really do. But, nonetheless, the graphics and, like, usually, if I was playing a game like this, I'd be like, man, I hate these type of games, I'm quitting off. But, when I played this, like, um, about half an hour ago, the graphics and stuff just interest me so much that I uh, that I wanted to, to, to play it and I dropped my key and failed the level because I was busy trying shit. Alright, so let's do this again. Okay, no, there we go. Alright, for the 19th time. Get on the... that's it, get on the lift. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. I think I was supposed to go up there and just jump down, but I I glitched it. Oh, I hate these lift things though. Oh, I glitched it. That was sweet. See that? That's how you glitch it. Oh, right. So now I've got. All right. There's, there's the key. Oh. Oh. I've done this wrong. I was supposed to like. Right. Okay. So I think I want to grab. No, I don't want to grab that one. Annoying. I want to get the two over here, I think, and then. Okay, so now I've got the two. No, every time it keeps grabbing the, the fucking light bulb out of that one. Maybe I'm. Maybe that's what's supposed to happen. I don't know. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, the graphics and stuff of this game and just the weirdness of it make me want to play it for no apparent reason. I don't even know why. It's just it's so weird looking even though I suck so much at it that I uh that it just makes you want to play the game no don't do that oh, I was going to die then that was close no come on oh <coughs> right failed failed attempt number 1 <coughs> Oh, I keep... I forgot to go, damn it. Oh my god, dude. Seriously. Okay. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do on this level, though. Right, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna risk it. Ah. Oh. oh, that was close. <coughs> Alright, so let's grab this and then attempt to grab my key. Take it over here. Drop it by there. Grab this. Grab this. Drop my key. Alright, so the door is back over there. So all I gotta do is take this, grab my damn key, and then and then get the lift. Get the lift back over uh to that side. Okay, I got it. I'm starting to grasp this game now. I think. No, no, that was the wrong wrong lift. Okay. Oh, come on! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See the skill on that? 
and I left my key. <coughs> God, dude, I left the damn key. Uh, why? Just why have you forsaken me, key? Oh my god. I was doing so well then. Oh my god, dude. It's really annoying. Alright, so there's the lift thing. I can see the lift. You've got to, you've got to try to time it so you can get the fucking key. I keep dropping the key. Like I keep pressing the like, A button, which which is the like the worst button for picking up stuff. Like oh for God's sake. Oh, and I lost the key in the dark. Oh. Getting annoyed now. <laughs> right, fucking right. Make that jump. That's right. Right, so let's grab the key again. Yeah, the they've got the A button as the button to pick pick up shit. And um I keep pressing it when I'm supposed to press the S button, which is the jump. So keep fucking dropping the key all the time. Alright. Yes, right, I did it. Okay, I did it. And I didn't leave the key this time, so let's drop the key, pick up the damn light bulb, drop the light bulb, pick up the fucking key, unlock the door, go through the fucking door. There we go. Right. Alright, so let's pick up our light bulb. We're supposed to go this way. Uh, I don't really want to jump down there. I'll do it anyway. Oh, I fell on a tree. Alright. we supposed to jump down, or? Alright, we landed in the water. Let's go underwater. But you, you, can you see what I'm talking about? Like, how weird this game just is. But it still, like, captivates you. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the, the art style. But it's just so strange that I've never, se I've never seen a game like it before. I don't want to leave my light bulb there. But it's, um, like I said, any game on Steam, probably worth picking up if you're into these type of games. If you just love the graphics of it, like I do, um, then I'd, I'd probably pick it up again. Oh, no! I'd probably pick it up again. <sighs> I pressed the goddamn. I'm just gonna go straight for the water, that's right. See that dive? That was a sick dive. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be so awkward to follow. Alright, come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, here we go. No, don't leave without me. <laughs> don't leave without me, weird light. Okay, let's try again. Why do I keep jumping when I'm pressing A button? All right. So here we go again. Oh, come on, come on. That's right. That's right. No, no, no. Oh, it's so awkward to follow the fucking light. No, where are you going? Oh, you suck. <laughs> right, okay, let's try again. Right, well, I didn't fall all the way down that time. Okay, here we go. In the water. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. If a shark came out now, it'd be so awesome. No, I wouldn't. It would suck. Okay, come on, light bulb. No, it's trying to leave without me. Stop doing that. The light's trying to ditch me all the damn time. Oh, you fucking you asshole! Right, I'm really sorry. Like, if any young people are watching this video and. You know, I'm swearing a lot, but I like I've said eight million times and I'm trying <laughs> my fucking I suck at these type of games. And um I can see my house from here. Sorry. Yeah, I suck at these type of games and um 
so I'm swearing a lot because I'm getting frustrated. Okay, here we go. No, you're not ditching me this time. He keeps trying to, like, keeps trying to fucking, fucking go off without me. He keeps trying to go off without me all the. Oh my god, dude, seriously. <laughs> this stupid light, why can't she just carry a torch? Fucking candle. Alright. To be honest, I wouldn't want to live in this world, though. It would kind of suck. <laughs> Alright, here we go. No. You'd, you'd think I'd got the pattern by now, but I still haven't. No, why do I keep falling off on that one bit? It's just that one stupid bit. <laughs> That's really getting on my nerves. Alright. Oh. Alright, I managed. I thought I was going to get ditched then. No, you are not fucking ditching me. How was I supposed to do that? <laughs> How was I supposed to do that? That was totally unfair. It's fucking aimbot. <laughs> aimbot, man. Oh my god. And I dropped my light bulb. Alright, here we go. Man, that is one hell of a dive, though. Fair play. Oh my god, dude! It's like the eighth time I've dropped the fucking light bulb now, or a light orb, but whatever. I'm just gonna keep calling it a light bulb because it's funny. But this fucking this, this chick's getting on my nerves. Like, she needs to just go to the fucking supermarket, buy a goddamn torch. All right. Right, it goes back down. No, don't, don't fall off the light. Oh my God! I said, don't fall off the light. What's wrong with you? All right, for the eightieth time. <sighs> this game didn't have good graphics. Well, well, I don't know what to call the graphics of this game. I mean, they're good, but they're also in... I I don't even know. I've never seen... Like I've said, I've never seen a game like it. I've seen these types of games millions of times, but... This is what makes them new and shit. And they still frustrate the shit out of you. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they look like. <laughs> okay, let's try again. For the nine millionth time. I'm, oh, I'm not dropping my fucking light bulb anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. That's a... This this chick has forsaken me. All right. I am determined to complete this level, even if it kills me. I can do this bit, all right, but it's when we get up onto the fucking tree or whatever this fucking thing is. See, I almost jumped off then. Oh, you see that? That's how you complete a level for like, it took me like 100 years. But I did it. Whew. Alright, so. Next one. Let's give it a. Right. They wouldn't give me two light bulbs unless I needed to, so. And a lamp as well, so let me drop let me drop this light by here. So if we can shine it on uh it's weird. I think we're supposed to shine it on that. I think. I guess. Alright. So let's grab our second light bulb. Hmm. 
or did that work? Did it do it? Oh, we've got to keep one light bulb on that one. Right, so what about... Right, is that done? Like, what am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Alright, it keeps doing that. I don't know why. Um, if I could bend those other lamps would be good. I don't know where to... Uh... I can't keep this light bulb here, though. I'll keep the I'll keep the one by the first one, but I. I uh, let me find out to find the way across first. Right, I'm guessing I'm supposed to just keep that one on that one. No, pick up the pick up the. Stop. Okay. I don't know. Am I? I don't know what I'm, where I'm supposed to go now. Like, was I supposed to just beam the door, or? I don't know. All right. Should we just? Yeah, but it's not doing anything. It's just going pew, making some weird fucking noise. Um. Right. Let's try. Like, I don't think I can get past the damn tree. I have no idea. Uh, let's have a look around. Yeah, there's the tree. Yeah, the tree. Like, there's no way for me to get past the tree. Maybe I'm only supposed to get a certain, certain ones of them firing. So I don't know. Would I be right in assuming that? Maybe just that one? Well, let's try just that one. No? Okay. So, let's try just this one. No? Well, they actually, wait, they both hit the same one. Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea. I'm acting like I know, but I have no idea. <laughs> um. I have an idea, actually, maybe. I think I need to get that one at the bottom left, that only that one shining or whatever. Oh, shh, you know. Like that, that one at the bottom left, I think that's the only one I need to get. to get shining so I'm going to I'm going to attempt to do that so I'm going to turn this one on and then I'm going to grab this light bulb and turn this one no it don't need to be that it can be like this far and then I'm going to turn this one on and then we're going to turn this one off no see it does it oh, I don't know I really have no idea like I'm looking at the tree and it looks like there's no way for me to get past that tree um, that's really annoying doing that all the time see I've got all three of them flashing but it's doing absolutely nothing um... we shall figure this out I don't know 
I tried getting two of them flashing, just one of them. I don't know, maybe we'll just, maybe we'll try flashing, uh, flashing just the bottom two. No, see, now those two just come on. I just, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. What am I supposed to fucking do? Yeah, I've got all three of them flashing. It's not doing anything. I think you need to to unlock the door, but um, like, how do I even get to the door in the first place? I mean, there's this fucking tree in the way, and it doesn't. I think I'm supposed to go down this path thing down, like maybe un down. How do I break the ground? I don't know. I mean, this tree's in the way and it's not going anywhere. Oh, that's really irritating. No, that tree is like, and this lamp's over there as well. I mean, how do I get to the other side? I need to get to the door. Why won't you show me how to get to the damn door, you piece of shit? All right, it's just not happening. This is just not happening, is it? Maybe I can. No, there's just no way around that fucking tree. No matter what I do, there is no way around that damn tree. Okay, so um, I don't know. I have I literally amount of ideas. I mean, I know probably some of you guys. Oh wait, I did it, and then I kind of flopped around and failed. That was weird. All right. So let's try this. I think I know what to do. You have to. You can, with this game, you can jump through the darkness. You can like jump through as long as it's dark. You can jump through it, which is pretty cool, I guess. I only just realized that two seconds ago. I'm acting like it's, I'm pro. <clears throat> okay, that's that level done. Um, okay, guys, it's been like thirty minutes, so I'm gonna. <coughs> uh, coughing all the time. I'm going to leave the Let's Play of Closure here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the game. Like I said, it's on Steam. Um, the game's called Closure, and it's like uh, £6.99, so whatever your equivalent is. Um, my first impressions on the game, like I've said throughout the entire video, I'm not a huge fan of puzzle games or platformers, or I don't know what you what to class it really um, I'm not really a big fan of these type of games but Closure has I don't know as a non-fan it has a way of making me a fan it's so weird like the art style is just awesome and like the the concept behind it is awesome and just the way the game is as, a, as an indie game I've never like I used to play a lot of indie games on Xbox Live uh, Marketplace um, so I have played a few indie games, but I've never seen one like this before, and it's very new and inventive, and it's just very clever, and like it's it's very well done, and just the the the, the crazy style and the creepy music, it's very very horribly weird and just awesome. So if you like what you see, um, go get the game, try it for yourselves. I don't know if I'm going to do a part 2 for this, if you guys want to see more Closure let me know in the comments below and uh, uh, if you want more more fucking Let's Plays on other indie games also let me know. Um, as for other news, as you might have seen, um, I've just, DAG has just put up a tournament intro, um, Dark Angel Gaming, DAG, has just, we've just done a Call of Warhammer tournament inside Dark Angel Gaming, which pretty much means we wanted to see who was how we were ranked on Call of Warhammer and Lord of the Rings Third Age. It's not so much that, it's just a friendly tournament in DAG, just so we can have a couple of games, see who comes out on top in these tournaments. We just finished the Call of Warhammer tournament and I'll be uploading each of the games Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So oh well pretty much throughout the week. 
so look out for those and uh, they were very good games the outcome was awesome and uh, all the games were just completely badass and it was um, it was a lot of fun so yeah I'm gonna leave it here guys this has uh, been a let's play on closure this has been Dark Angel Gaming so don't forget to subscribe bitches and uh, this is Dark DAG signing off